Julian Schutze and Nicole Smith from Blood and Iron Martial Arts Vancouver and here today to talk to you about disarms. There are few things sweeter than taking away your opponent's sword during a fight. Nothing says win more than having two swords and them having none. So today we're going to have a look at a few different ways with a few different weapons that you can perform a disarm. So this first one's with the long sword. This is where they go to a bad ox guard position where they parry with the strong of their blade and I'm able to use my quillion to be able to wrench it out of their hands. So I throw my strike and I notice she's blocked real into her strong. From here what I do is I take my left hand, I come to grab this blade while I start hooking around with this quillion block. You'll notice how this already starts putting pressure on her hands and then to seal the deal, I'm gonna step off that way as I wrench downwards. If they've got an iron grip, even if they don't let go, this is a pretty decent spot for me. For this next one, we're gonna have a look at rapier. And this one's actually really pretty and really fun. So I'm standing in my third guard position. I'm gonna constrain his sword. He's gonna try and disengage. Now I position my dagger low on my arm. And the reason for this is I wanna be able to engage the tip of his sword with my dagger, at the same time maintaining pressure on the strong with my sword. I'm gonna use these two like a lever, like literally. Switch the position, I'm gonna crank his wrist, and I still have this line for my stab. Now this is not a comfortable place for his wrist, so I'm not gonna do this too quickly or I'd actually really hurt him. The choices he had would be let break the wrist or let go of the sword. If she does do it fast enough, it will pop out of my hand. Why? This next one comes from Lakushner's Messer. So we enter a bind, and I wish to break off by rising the hilt. From here, it is now surprisingly easy to start trapping her messer underneath my shoulder. And if I wish to disarm, I now place my edge on her wrist as I start spinning out and providing an incredible amount of pressure on her wrist. And now they're disarmed. Something to keep in mind is due to the nature of disarms, they put your wrists in really bad positions. So if you are training them with your training partners, friends, family, go gentle. We don't want to hurt each other. Now disarm is not something you're going to be able to pull off all the time. These are in the moment, special circumstance, one-off. Great fun if you can actually manage to do it, but don't think of this as your go-to technique. No, it's definitely never going to work against an experienced fencer. But then again, who knows? Maybe the element of surprise can take them by surprise and then you're left looking like the coolest person in the world. Worth that trade-off, maybe. But for now, remember, if you don't put in the training, you're not going to get the result. <laughs> 